The common treatment for a patient with a cardiac arrest that is admitted to the hospital is that if the patient is unconscious, um, he or she is transferred to the intensive care unit where uh, the patient is uh, ventilated and today cooled to 33 degrees for 24 hours. Meanwhile, we um, treat the patient for the cause of the cardiac arrest. Uh, there are, of course, um, several um, adverse events that can um, be related to hypothermia, cooling to, to a lower degree of body temperature. And uh, the most common are infections, uh, bleedings, and um, some other adverse events like uh, electrolyte uh, disorders. The common strategy today is to use hypothermia to reduce the risk of neurological damage. But the results of the largest international study ever on patients in cardiac arrest now show that avoiding fever is just as effective. The trial uh, was performed in 10 countries, 36 intensive care units, and uh, we randomized 950 patients to either 33 degrees or 36 degrees. So both um, groups were uh, controlled in their body temperature and we avoided fever in both groups. Uh, after uh, 36 hours, the temperature was raised to normal temperature again. And then we followed the patients throughout the trial and uh, performed um, half-year uh, control of neurological function for these patients. And we could find that the uh, results were similar in both groups. Uh, it was equally beneficial to be kept at 36 degrees instead of being cooled to 33 degrees, uh, both in terms of survival and uh, in terms of uh, neurological outcome. We believe that the, these results will challenge uh, clinical practice and it will also challenge uh, international guidelines. Of course, we need to investigate the material more into depth, but the, the, um, the main results are very solid. Um, so we think that for the broad cardiac arrest population, we really n need to rethink how we do it today um, and uh, use these results 